Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my monthly Stitch Fix unboxing and try on. And if you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the video. So what Stitch Fix is, it's a monthly subscription service. You pay $20 for a styling fee. You get sent five pieces. If you like anything, that $20 will get applied to your order. And then if you buy your whole box, you get 25% off. And I do have a link down below if you guys want to try it out. You do get a $100 credit. That's going to be $100 for the first two days this video comes out. And then after that, it will go back down to $25. But if you don't like Stitch Fix, you get that $100 credit. You can use it towards anything in your box, anything on their website. And if you want to cancel it, it's super convenient. You don't have to call anybody. You can just go right on their website, hit cancel. Say you don't want to do the automatic shipments and you're done you don't have to worry about anything else so super convenient one of the best subscription services i've ever tried so definitely take advantage of that hundred dollar credit if you can so this is my box this month so it's a smaller box than usual box this is what the inside looks like so you have your prepaid shipping label you put everything back in you don't like you send it right back to them you drop it off at the post office it's super easy and then you also get a styling card which is a little note from your stylist i have molly again that i've had her the past couple months and i really like her style i think she knows me really well so i'm excited about that and then they also show you everything in the box, so lots of different options. And then on the last sheet of paper, it's a, um, an itemized receipt of everything in the box, the name, the size, how much it would be if you bought everything um, with your discount, and any credits you might have. They did give me a $20 credit because they didn't enclose a um, label last time so I just used the same box and they sent me a label to send back so they did give me a $20 credit for that okay so here is my bundle for this month so we do have some jeans in there I did request that I get some like cute comfortable like trendy things that I could wear when I'm working from home go to pick up the kids so hopefully she got that note Oh, this first thing looks really pretty. So the first piece is a sleeveless blousey top. It looks like there is a little keyhole detail and then it kind of waterfalls down. This is from Four Hawthorne. So this is the 41 Hawthorne clear water mixed material blouse in white size medium and it is $58. What I like about it is the back. That little bow is so cute. This material also feels really soft. The next thing is a sweater and we've had like 80 degree weather here. So oh, that kind of stinks, but it is really pretty. So it's a dark green material. It's a V-neck little crisscross in the back it is a lighter weight sweater kind of stretchy a little bit more fitted and this is the love ellie mia back detail pullover in dark green size medium and it is 44 dollars so that's pretty cute and then the next item looks like a pretty floral top So this is what it looks like. So it looks like it does have a deep V in the front and then some smock detailing at the waist. It is a sheer like chiffon material. There's elastic on the wrist and then also a little keyhole on the back with a button. And this one is the Nine Brighton Haley Scallop Detail Blouse in dark pink, size medium, and it's $42. So it looks like we have another lightweight sweater. And this one is from Market and Spruce. I love that little strap detail on the shoulder. And then it does have a little bit of a 
more like elasticized wrist. And this one is the Mark and Spruce Melly Single Cold Shoulder in the dark gray for $48. And then the last item looks like jeans. And these are from Judy Blue. I did um, update my profile. I was normally getting size 8. I did. In jeans, I'm always a 28. So hopefully these fit. They were giving me 29s and they were always just like a tad too big. So now I got my normal size 28s. They are 7s. And they're Judy Blue, and it looks like they're really flared at the bottom. So these are super cute. I've wanted to try Judy Blue jeans. They're not the easiest things to find. They're usually in like more like higher end boutiques or like like really boutique-y brand. So I'm super excited to try these. And I do need a pair of flared jeans in this lighter color. I only have dark colors. So these are the Judy Blue Riley flare jeans, and these are. It says size 6, but they're 7s, 28s, and $68. So I'll try some of this on. Here's the first piece. It's the Nine Bring and Haley Scallop Blouse. And I really like this. I did layer it with the camisole underneath just because it is really low cut in the front. But I kind of like the layer look. I think it's really pretty. It's lightweight. I love the sleeves, the elastic detailing, and then also the smock detailing in the back that pulls it all in. So I think this is really pretty. It is, in my opinion, a keeper. It's $42. I think it's a really unique piece. And then I paired it with the Judy Blue jeans. I'm so glad I got these in my normal size 28 because I feel like if they would have gave me the 29s I've been getting, they would have been too big. I do have some room in the waist. These aren't a high waist. These are more of a mid-rise, but I still like them. I think if I sent them back, I'd be upset. So love the flare. I think they're just enough. They're not too flared. I love the color. I love the stretch. They're really comfortable. And like I said, I've wanted to try Judy Blue jeans, so I'm really excited about these. So again, these are the Judy Blue Riley flared jean, size 28, and they're $68. Next thing I'm trying on is the Markin and Spruce Melly single cold shoulder in the dark gray, and this one is $48. So I feel like the length on it is a little off. I'd rather it be a little shorter, a little bit longer. It's not quite like tunic length to wear with leggings and not good and like short enough to tuck in. So the only thing I really don't like about it is the length. I think I might exchange this for a small. I think I'd be happy with it. It's just a little too baggy for me. I like things a little bit more, you know, fitted. It just feels too oversized for the style of the top with this little detail. But I do think it is pretty. I just want to try it in the small. Hopefully they have it available. If not, if I buy the whole box, I might just keep it because it wouldn't make sense to send it back with that 25% discount. But it is something that I definitely think I'll throw on. Like I said, I'm looking for more like comfortable, casual pieces to wear with leggings just you know to work from home but still feel like i'm a little dressed up and i think this little detail does that this one is the love ellie mia back detail pullover and i do really like this one i just don't know how much wear i'm gonna get out of it the thing i like about it is that little crisscross detail and i don't have anything in this color so it is like a really pretty green um I just don't know with this one. I like the fit of it. I like that detail, but it is a little warm, even though it is on the thinner side. So that's how thick it is. It's super thin, but it just has like this really soft feel to it. So it is something that I know if I'm wearing it in like a 70 degree day, I am going to get warm, but it is pretty. I don't know, I think I have to think about this one. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Last piece is the 41 Hawthorne Clear Water Mix Material Blouse. This is really pretty. I really like that bow detail. Um, it is another one that I feel like is a little oversized um, for my liking. Maybe I'll switch it for small. 
but I don't know. It is a really pretty top. I like the material on the front and then on the inside, it is like this really soft, stretchy cotton material. I think this is something that you could wear with leggings. I probably wouldn't. You do have some coverage in the back. I'll probably wear it like tucked into high-waisted, flared or like a skinny pan or um, jeans. It's really pretty. I don't have anything like sleeveless like this right now for summer and spring and we are getting warm weather days so it is I think something good to have uh, just in case it is a little pricey though what it is um, $50 so I don't know let me got let me know what you guys think okay so right now I'm thinking I should keep the whole box I'm a little like on the fence about this top and then the two sweaters but I do like them and I feel like with the 25% discount it kind of makes up for the jeans and the, the blouse that I like. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And don't forget if you want to try Stitch Fix, make sure you use my code down below. You get $100 for the next two days. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.